Hey all, what's going on? Hey, it's Scott. How are you guys? It's been a while, huh? You've been seeing pictures of this bad girl, but you haven't really been having a video, so I thought I'd finally do one. So we are building the Airfix One to 600 RMS Queen Elizabeth. And why are we building it? Because we just got done with the Queen Mary and she needs her running partner. Um, already actually had the shelf up waiting for it. It looks awfully blank next to the Queen Mary. So anyway, where are we on this? Well, <laughs> the instructions are like three pages. It's kind of funny. But anyway, what have I done here? Well, I put the whole hill gather. I put the decks in. And I just now got done using that. So I just gave her a good coat, a couple actually, um, uh, for, you know, pledge to seal her in. It's funny, I didn't have any flat black, so I used classic black and it looked really, really shiny. Um, but then it dawned on me I was going to gloss it anyway um, with the, the vinyl pledge. And so, um, it all came together. The reason I really put that much on and hit it so many times and so thick, you see, hmm, how do I do with this? You see where the black ends. So it goes red, then there's that little white stripe, and it goes black, then it goes white, and then there's a row of windows that are molded in. Can you see those? I'll go up those on the very top, the molded ones. Well, the reason I did this is because I'm going to put um, a length of tape on the top of those, a length of tape on the bottom of those, and then I'm going to hit it with panel line and make those windows pop. I did the same thing on the Mary. It really added to the look. However, um, it didn't clean up that great. So this way I'm going to try to try to minimize my smudges. Um, I'm going to do the same thing for the, the front. This one's going to be a nightmare because if you see on that front of it, all of those windows, I'm going to black those out too. And I have been going back and forth last night, even at midnight, thinking how in the heck is the best way and the easiest and the cleanest way to do those. But I'll come up with it. Somebody had a great idea also. Actually, I read this. I can't remember where I read it. I don't know about you guys, if you're non-smokers, if you're holier than now non-smokers, if you're vapors, I am a vapor. Somebody had a great idea about using the old vape, there's my vape, um, bottles, the juice bottles, and mix, you know, for paint. So I can mix, you know, a buttload of like white, since the rest of the superstructure is going to be white, and just close it off, seal it, and have it ready, and then that way when it's time, I can just simply squirt it out into my airbrush. But that was a great idea so helpful hint there guys um so yeah the next uh portion of the construction is to put that um four peak in there or i'm sorry that the, the main bridge that in there honestly the next thing i'm going to do probably is tape up the sides and then i'll get my trusty airbrush out and I'll put a number one needle in there and we'll fill it full of some deck color and we'll start doing the deck and we'll just kind of build you know do it as we go a lot of taping but what the heck so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go ahead and start on that first or if I'm gonna go ahead and start on those bolted in windows and get those um, all blackened in with the panel on um, another helpful hint make sure that when you use this stuff yeah, the window is open. You know, those things up there. Oh my God, did that give me a headache. And it made me sick to my stomach. I, I didn't have the windows open. So, anyway, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to say anything you want. Feel free to put comments in there. She's coming along. These are so simple. Um, you know, everybody's going to say, what, are you going to have it done in a week? Um, maybe two. Depends on how those windows go. Oh, the other thing too, the Queen Mary had those huge vents sticking out, if you remember that. I wish I had a picture of it up for you. Anyway, they were sticking out facing forward. I think there were eight of them. They were vents. That was to get air into the engines. Well, they were kind of hideous. And so the builders of that Elizabeth decided, uh -uh, we don't want those big, huge vents sticking out. So what they did is they made the vents underneath each funnel so you see those squares 
there's two rows of six. Those were the vents for the Elizabeth. So that's another little fun thing I'm going to have to figure out. Like maybe do I paint that whole side black and then paint in the, the white frame? They were molded in, but very slightly. So helpful hint. Then, um, what else? Well, gosh, it's already April. Um, I think by April 18th, we're going to, uh, no, I think it's the 14th. I have a model show here that the uh, Missouri is going to, and then a tank, that little tank that we did, um, is going to go to. The Missouri then goes to the um, Nebraska Naval um, Guard and goes in their display cases. They're also going to get the, uh, the next build that you and I are doing, um, the Arizona, the Hobby Boss. But we've got some exciting news with that one. We've got some exciting surprises on that. Not going to be your typical build. So, anyway, that's what's going on. I hope you guys are well. Hope you're having a good, have good Easter. Hope that the weather is a heck of a lot better where you are than here. We set a record low last night. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right? Take care.